from Houston, Texas, in color, a special one-hour version of Face the Nation, the first exclusive television interview with the Apollo 11 crew who returned on Thursday from the nationwide tour celebrating their historic first steps on the moon. Millions in New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles turned out to greet the returning space pioneers. Now back again in Houston awaiting a world tour, the three astronauts, Mission Commander Neil Armstrong, his colleague in the moonwalk, Colonel Edwin E. Aldrin, Jr., and Command Module Pilot Lieutenant Colonel Michael Collins will be questioned by CBS News correspondent David Schumacher, Howard Benedict of the Associated Press, and CBS News correspondent Walter Cronkite. Colonel Aldrin, uh, next month a task force is going to make recommendations to President Nixon about what our goals should be in space in the next decade. If you were writing those recommendations, what would you suggest? <coughs> what would you like to see done? Howard, I, I think we've uh, laid the foundation for a, a very logical uh, approach toward these goals. We have uh, many opportunities in continued uh, lunar exploration. I think we're uh, just scratching the surface, so to speak, uh, as to what we can obtain from uh, many of the Earth orbital space station studies and uh, applications toward uh, Earth resources. And certainly, I think, uh, economical means of uh, ferrying vehicles through the use of a space shuttle of some sort. Uh, these are the, the type things that uh, we will probably uh, be very interested in exploring. And of course, the uh, uh, eventual exploration beyond the moon uh, towards some of the planets, I think, is, uh, is something that uh, must be looked into. Gentlemen, a sort of shorthand uh target uh, a description of what we should do next uh, seems to be revolving around uh, Mars, the debate over whether or not this is the time to set a Mars goal. Uh, the man you work for, Thomas Paine, the administrator of NASA, says that uh, it looks like 1981 might not be a bad time. On the other hand, another man and men you work for, the uh, House, uh, Agri uh, House uh, Aeronautical and Space Committee, says that we're not even ready to set such a goal for 10 years or so. Which, who is right? Are we ready to set a Mars goal or not? Oh, well, probably both of those uh, gentlemen have, have had uh, the opportunity to look at more recent analyses than we have, uh, having been tied up 105% uh, of our time on Apollo 11. But um, I'm quite certain that uh, goals uh, of the Mars variety are within our range should we should we choose to uh, decide to to make that uh, investment of our, our national resources uh, I think it's certainly possible uh, since uh, a planetary trip does always involve a, a long duration flight that uh, initial flights to the planets that is particularly circumplanetary non-landing but exploratory flights can be combined with Earth orbiting spacecraft to develop that long-term capability with the very same type of spacecraft. And so that would certainly be a contender in my view. Well, one of the important factors, perhaps, according to Werner von Braun, the most important factor in going to the moon was that a specific date was set, a specific goal was set. Would you today set a specific goal for Mars, and what year would you put on it if you wanted to do that? I would, and I don't think 1981 is too soon. I think it's well within our capability to do so. And as Neil pointed out, uh, the very nature, the long duration of the trip requires a, a careful design and testing of the equipment, which could uh, easily be done in Earth orbit with, with uh, a number of, of ancillary benefits in terms of Earth resources, uh, observations, and, and other things which the... Uh, that the non-Mars people would propose as well. Would you agree with 1981? Okay. I certainly think it's uh, well within our capability to be prepared for that date. Might as well complete the survey. <laughs> I, I'm not so sure that I would agree that, uh, that this is the time that we can accurately uh, set a date like 1981. I think uh, the setting of a goal is certainly one that we should uh, do, and then as we learn more about this, then I believe that uh, perhaps we can come up with a firm 
timetable for exactly when we could accomplish it. You're suggesting, Buzz, then we ought to have an intermediate goal of some kind, the, the manned space station as an intermediate uh, goal on a timeline? I, I would think so. I think we would like to spell out what our complete intentions are and, uh, and to set these goals in an intermediate way. And then as we, as we reach these intermediate goals, then I believe we'll be able to, to better define exactly uh, what our longer term goals are in terms of 10 years from now. I think it's very difficult to make uh, estimates at this time uh, for something as, as difficult and as complex and as uh, time consuming as a uh, Mars trip.